So we've got a little bit of a problem here. Find a condition such that the transformation represented by the matrix ABCD has invariant points other than 0, 0, so other than the origin. We know that for any 2 by 2 matrix um, that represents a graph transformation, then 0, 0 will be an invariant point. Okay, so is there a way of predicting whether a matrix will have points other than 0, 0 as an invariant point? So what we're looking for is A, B, C, D being applied to x, y to give me x, y. That would be the definition of an invariant point. OK? So what that means is that we would have a, x plus b, y and c, x plus d, y equal to x, y. OK? So I would need ax plus by to be equal to x, and cx plus dy to be equal to y. Now, if I subtract the x from both sides here, I could write that as a minus 1x plus by equals 0. And likewise here, subtracting y from both sides, cx plus d minus 1, y, would be equal to 0. OK. So what I want to do is solve these simultaneous equations. OK. Now, in order to do that, uh, there are a few different ways that we could rearrange this. Um, I think I'm going to cancel through the y's. That's probably the best idea here. So what I'll do is I will multiply uh, this equation by d minus 1 and this one by b. And then I can knock out the y corners. Otherwise, uh, alternatively, I could use uh, substitution. But I think this will probably be the easiest route. So I'm going to multiply this through by d minus 1. So a minus 1, d minus 1, x plus b lots of d minus 1, uh, y equals 0. And multiply this equation through by b. So we're going to get c, or let's say bc. bcx plus b d minus 1, y equals 0. So if I do this equation, subtract that equation, I would have a minus 1, d minus 1, x, take away bcx is equal to 0. So um, what I can do now is if I factor out the x, then I would have a minus 1, d minus 1, take away bc, x equals 0. So multiplying through, I would have a, d, uh, then take away a, take away d, plus 1, take away bc, uh, x equals 0. Now, if x is 0, in this case, OK, then um, I would have... Uh, I'd be able to work with that and get y is 0 as well, OK? So if I put in x is 0, then I would have this uh, situation occurring, OK? So um, I would have 0 there, 0 there, and then y being 0 would also be a condition, OK? So really all I'm interested in is alternatively having that as 0. So a d minus a minus d plus 1 take away b c being equal to 0. OK, so if you rearrange this, you would have a d, sorry, a, I can write a's, honestly, right, there we go, a d minus b c, and if I move everything else to the other side, I've got a plus d minus 1. Now, eagle-eyed among you, if you um, have read ahead, uh, you might be recognising uh, this value here. 
this is this AD minus BC is actually equal to the determinant of the matrix. So uh, we'll get to that later in the playlist. So the determinant of the matrix, uh, if that is equal to A plus D minus 1, then you will have an invariant point other than 0, 0.